Okay, now we slowly arrive at the point where we need to preview the animation and think about if it's okay, if it's too quick, too slow, if we need any more adjustments because we are just about to finish this animation. So I'll come to the very beginning and I'll press space to preview the animation. Okay, it's fairly quick and maybe this one it's a bit too strong. I would maybe make the animation a bit slower so the opacity isn't so visible here and it fades in slower to the screen. Also those keyframes can be a bit slower. Also I think the rotation on the blur is a bit too strong. I would like it to be more blurry, less rotatey. So I'll go to the, the beginning and we have the blur length and I'll adjust the length to... okay I don't see it now because at the beginning it's invisible, but is this okay? Yeah, I think I'll stay with that. It slowly comes into the animation I wanted it to be. Okay, let me preview it for a last time. I see I made an error because here it should also be zero. Why do you do this to me? Zero, bro. Okay. Now the animation would render and we need to make one adjustment. We need to take the text and the background with the shift key and just pre-compose them together once again. Pre-compose and it, it can be called pre-comp1 because this mask has both to reveal this background and this text together. Okay, I've rendered this and let's preview. We have the reveal, we have the revealer and we have no errors in our screen. At about 5 seconds it's all over so you can take this and make this composition smaller. This composition can end at 5 seconds. Okay, it will repeat itself because this animation takes only 5 seconds to play and this is all you need to know in this lesson. In the next lesson we'll finalize this animation and I'll show you how to use this video, how simple it is to use such a video as an opener for your actual videos.